first of all, I would like to say that uh, Pakistan and Uzbekistan enjoy a very, very close relationship. Our relationship are multi-faceted. The focus of the discussion that we are having with, uh, uh, with Uzbekistan is uh, on connectivity, on uh, north-south connectivity, uh, on um, improving uh, trade relationship between our two countries in order to, uh, to also um, uh, improve people-to-people -people and business-to-business -business contact. This summit uh, is of significant importance for, for all of us, uh, for Pakistan in particular, because uh, we are going to be focusing on uh, a number of priority areas, which include uh, connectivity, which includes trade between the uh, countries of the nation, and also uh, to um, develop a, a common uh, position on uh, various issues that uh, confront the ECO region. Trade is certainly a priority area uh, for uh, the ECO member countries. Uh, the trade volume between the ECO member countries as of now is about uh, 85 to 87 billion dollars. But then the potential is um, huge between the uh, the only uh, problem that we are faced with is the connectivity problem but then there are efforts being made by the ECO member countries all of them to improve connectivity between all the ECO members uh, there is some very good progress that has taken place including the development of road network and uh, rail network and the air network between the between the uh, ECO member countries so I see a lot of potential in this uh, trade area and economic area in the coming days, coming months and coming years. I'm glad to say that uh, multilateral uh, relations in economy, trade, uh, culture, tourism among the member countries of the Economic Cooperation Organization have been increasing year by year. Economic relations have been increasing in all fields, trade, investments, contracting, uh, infrastructure, transit trade, logistics. These eco-member countries are just at the center of the, uh, the so-called uh, middle corridor between the Far East and the Western Europe. So this gives a big advantage to the member countries and uh, there are huge investments in the member countries on modernizing the uh, lo logistical and transportation infrastructures. Uzbekistan's economy has been uh, improving very fast under the leadership of His Excellency President. We are very uh, glad to see the uh, modern and uh, improved economy and landscape infrastructure in Uzbekistan. It gives tremendous advantage to countries in the global north. So there's a need for countries in this region to come together to form a stronger economic bloc, increase trade volume between themselves and try to gain that leverage. So I think ECO can play a very fundamental role in this regard. Well, Uzbekistan's role has been pivotal in terms of getting together um, the different members. You know, there's been a lot of uh, diplomatic activity that's been happening before the actual summit. So for example, the Uzbekistan's leadership has been talking to the leadership of various countries, trying to get them on the same agenda. You know, there are some areas in which there are differences. So for example, you've got some members of ECO who don't have the institutional capacity uh, or the infrastructure to deal with some of the current challenges. So getting all of them together on a single agenda is, is a daunting diplomatic task. And I think, uh, I think Uzbekistan has done that well. I think Turkish investment investors are more, most interested in the construction sector. That's where there's a lot of uh, experience as well. Uh, then there's the defense sector as well. For example, I've, when I talk to Turkish officials, they say that there's a lot of scope for collaboration as well when it comes to the defense industry. So that's one thing Turkey would be interested in. Uh, Turkey has been talking to China, for example, of course not in the ECO but on other platforms. But remember, you know, considering the role Uzbekistan is playing at the moment, you know, the president has to take a very balanced approach. He has to be very careful in terms of what he's expressing. It's not the case with other leaders who are not holding that, that office.